Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a really quick kind of acne hack video I would say on how I be, have been covering up my acne scars and spots lately. I have done a couple videos on how I've covered up intense acne scarring um, from the last uh, spout of acne that I had but I thought I'd do an updated one because I have been getting a lot of you guys asking how I've been covering up my spots, like my intense acne breakouts and scarring um, in my previous videos, like more updated routine. So I thought I would listen to you guys and actually do that for you. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Wow. <laughs> so first things first I like to prime to neutralize the skin so there's different primers that do different things I sometimes use like a mattifying primer if I want mattified skin but for this purpose of the routine like this kind of makeup look where I want to have flawless looking skin and cover these like breakouts and things on my face I want something that's going to like take that redness out of it a little bit which is this guy right here. It's my self-adjusting complexion primer from Urban Decay. I've used this in a few videos. I swear it's my ride or die. It's so good to neutralize any redness on the skin. It takes the anger out of your breakouts. The angry like redness. And for me one to one and a half pumps will do me good with this primer just because I find if you use too much it actually can start to like leave a little bit of like crustiness on the skin. So I prefer to just use one pump to one and a half, like I said, to cover all the spots that I need to and bring it down my neck a little bit to cover little, like, you know, these little breakout scars and stuff. So now that the skin is all neutralized, we're going to go in with the color corrector concealer part of the routine. Ooh. A little bit bright for you there. What I've been doing to change it up a little bit, I try not to do too many products on my skin. If you saw in my how to cover active breakouts um, and scars and things with drugstore products, I used a fair bit of product on my skin. And it just looked, I look back on it and I think it just looked too cakey. At the time I was like super impressed because I'd full covered up all my acne scars. Like that was the goal at the time. But now for my skin, I just prefer to have something that doesn't look so thick on my face so I try to use less products but more concealing products so I'll kind of use a couple different things depending on what my skin needs with this one up here I'm going to use a color corrector because I just feel it needs something to kind of reduce down and correct this redness whereas with my scars and you know the few breakouts on my skin I'm going to use it actually an eye primer concealer so I'm going to use the MAC paint pot eye primer as my concealer just for these little spots here to add a little bit more coverage and cancel out that redness because they aren't so angry like this one here so i'm going to just take my finger i just find it best apply it with my finger i know the whole bacteria thing isn't great but i probably should follow that like idea more because that's probably why i'm breaking out so much because i use my fingers so much with products I'm just going to blend that into the skin. I just found lately for a full coverage look without having to apply too much product, this eye primer is amazing. And I just think an eye primer is a bit more concealing than a concealer. Like it's a bit more tacky so it sticks longer. That's what I've just found in my experience, especially because I just find over the day that they start to fade. Um, like the makeup will start to fade over those spots and I can see the redness peeking through on my skin again So I just like to apply a little bit extra coverage and with this eye primer I find it lasts longer. It just stays. It doesn't crease. It doesn't crack It doesn't cling to any dry patches and the trick with this as well is not to try and conceal up the whole Breakout or scar you want to just apply a little bit over a thin amount like a tiny amount But keeping that thin layer will help to stop the cakiness if you have a thick layer thin on your skin it will cake up and look really obvious so as you can see I've just applied it to you know the main scarring and breakouts I did the most to this one here because it was quite pigmented I did one there like you could see over my face there's little patches of that eye primer and it doesn't really matter that it's not the exact same color as my skin because we're just going to apply foundation over the top which is also why I like to apply it first before foundation 
I'm also going to conceal this one, don't worry. But I just wanted to kind of cover those up. Also, it stops me applying too much foundation over those areas because I'm just trying to build it up, build it up, trying to conceal those breakouts, and then it ends up being cakey. Now, with this next product that we're going to use, you probably recognize it in my other acne covering video where I have, uh, this was my best friend, I used a lot of this. Now, I don't tend to use as much, I just use a thin amount because I just think the green slightly pokes through if you use too much. So I grab again some of my finger and I just apply it to the really angry breakouts. So just a thin amount and I'll blend again using the same technique, blend the edges, try not to take too much coverage away from that breakout. So you can see it's slightly got that green tinge but that'll be easily covered up with our foundation. So next I'm going to take a full Pretty full coverage foundation, probably not anything crazy, but I like to use this one from Airborne, the Perfecting Liquid Foundation. It also has SPF 15, so it's good for sun protection as well. And I like this because it's a non-toxic foundation. <laughs> I've done a review which goes into all the information about it, but I just think it's a healthier foundation for your skin. It's full coverage. It can be medium to full, so you can have a, a medium coverage, but you can build up to be a full coverage as well, which I like that because I want a bit more control because some areas I don't want as full coverage. I want it to look more natural, and in other areas I want it to be like a little bit more full coverage on my face, you know? I'm just high maintenance like that. And I just squeeze it on the back of my hand, just one pump for now. And again, going in with my fingers, you're probably like, honey... The reason why you have so many breakouts is because you use your fingers. Probably. Probably. Sorry about the lighting change, guys. It is windy and cloudy outside. And I'm going to take a kabuki brush now and just blend out the foundation. You can still see a little bit of that one poking through. I might just apply a little bit more coverage to these areas around the jawline here where I do have my breakouts and scarring. Just a smidgen more. And I'm going to take a tapered kabuki brush this time. And I'm just feathering out that product. So instead of having the flat top that we had before, this tapered one allows me to do a little bit more precision. But again, like, this is a quick routine, so if you can't... If you can't be bothered, then just go in with your beauty sponge or, you know, foundation brush and just blend a little bit more coverage over those breakouts. And that's it. That's as basically as much coverage as I apply. I don't want a cakey layer of foundation, so I only go in with a little bit more product on top. Trying just to keep it more like silky skin looking rather than just like a cake base all over the face. Okay, so next thing is powder. You can use a powder foundation. I like to use this one because it's a more natural brand. I've done a review, so I'll, I'll let you guys check that out if you would like to see more information. This is just better for the skin. It's not got any of the nasty toxins and things in it. I like the coverage it provides. Sorry about the dirty mirror. It's um, in the shade Nude, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. So it's similar to my skin tone. I want a pressed powder that is almost the same basically it's the same shade as my skin so that doesn't highlight the areas that we're going to apply the powder to which will be generally the breakout areas if you have a powder that's too light it's going to highlight those areas and actually emphasize your breakouts so just keep that in mind which powder you do end up using so taking a dry beauty sponge i'm just going to press not swipe, not blend, just press that powder into the breakout areas and around my nose too. Side note, this is also a fantastic technique to blur your pores. And like I said before about mattifying this textured breakout up here, having it matte will take, like, draw less attention to it than if it was um, glossy or highlighted. So if you do have quite textured, broken out, acne kind of skin, I don't recommend a dewy, um, glowy foundation just because it's going to highlight your breakouts so much. Um, I've actually been preferring a more matte foundation routine. Like, yeah, I'm an oily skin girl, but I used to apply like a lot of highlighter. And actually that did me no favours with the texture on my skin when it's been quite bad. 
So, yeah, I can do it when my skin's a lot more clearer. There's not as much texture to it. But at the moment, I stick to a more matte routine. So I actually don't apply highlighter to my skin. I actually prefer to keep it matte. Next is the crucial step. Am I too bright for you guys? I think that's better. So <laughs> next is the crucial step, which is the setting spray. This will lock your makeup in place all day. I really like the Kat Von D one. Actually, you know what I really do like is the Urban Decay All Nighter. But I've currently run out of that one at the moment. And I do like this one. It smells like cucumbers. So it's a nice little refreshing hit in the morning. But I'll just do a few spritzes of this one. And of course you want to kind of just get a bit of airflow to it to lock it in. Oh, it's so refreshing. Oh my god. This was my favourite part of my makeup routine in summer. Because it just like cools you down. Especially with the sun just beaming through the window. It's just like a nice little spritz to the face. It's just everything. Everything. And just with me, I like to focus it in my general acne area to make sure I'm not... Like to make sure I'm locking that part in the most. You know? Okay guys, so I've just quickly applied some concealer around my eyes. I'll quickly finish off the rest of my face makeup so you guys can see what it looks like with you know, a full base done. I'm not going to bother doing my eyes, I don't think. I'll be able to do a base for you guys. But I just want you to see like how it's looking now before I apply bronzer, blush and all that jazz to my skin. It's just so much more concealed and it's not full cakey coverage. It's just a nice full coverage but still looks like your natural skin just a little bit more enhanced when I say a little bit it's a bit more full glam let's say that as you can see it's covered up the scarring and acne that I've wanted it to if you do have a little bit of texture on your skin you can do a little trick where you grab I'm gonna just check it, a little like brow slash eye curl and just apply that to the skin like a little faux freckle kind of thing just to the breakout on like the head to kind of pass it off as like a beauty mark like something like that rather than it actually being acne I was a fan of that before but now I actually just don't really mind like the texture is going to be there it's not a big thing as long as like the redness and the angriness is concealed then I'm kind of happy with the texture on my skin like it's not that big of a deal but yeah it's up to you so that is a trick you can do if you don't if you are uncomfortable with having the texture on your skin like you've concealed up the redness but the texture is still there you can apply a couple faux freckles here and there you're good to go honey so this here is the full base done with blush bronzer contour everything like that as you can see i've left it matte because like i was saying like i just don't want uh, much of a glow anymore like I do still do that if I'm walking from a glam look but an everyday acne coverage routine I want it to be a bit more matte if you would like to check out my previous acne coverage routines for a more full coverage look like I'm thinking like next level full coverage then I'll leave it linked down below in the description for you guys as well as my other acne coverage routines like I have so many different ones more natural, more full coverage, more glam, more like everyday if you would like to check them out but yeah let me know what you thought of this video if you did like it make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you have any requests for my future videos make sure to leave them linked down below in the comments section sorry I had a little bit of brain fart just then so I know you guys want to see in my upcoming tutorials and videos. Otherwise, have an amazing day, guys. I love you all so much, and I'll see you soon.